Good evening, everybody. Welcome to After Hours, brought to you by Glen Farkless. Now, I do usually have my red Glen Farkless jacket on, but it's a little bit steamy, a little bit warm in here today. I might be up because of our guests, which I'll introduce <laughs> in just a second. But let's see uh, what we got coming up on the show tonight. We had a great show last night. Obviously, we've got Luke and Barry, but tonight we have Alice and Richard Hawes. We've been working today for ITV, so they... I was going to say they look exhausted, but that is quite rude, isn't it? But you don't... You look like you've had a good... Day. You've been grafting, haven't you? I'll tell you something. A lot better in here with yeah. a bit of whiskey and a nice comfy chair. Absolutely. It's been a brilliant so. day, though. We're going to review the day's action, of course. We're going to be out and about with Rosie, as she always is. And we're going to look ahead to tomorrow. So, welcome, guests. Yeah, Thank thanks. You. Good Thank to be you. here. Good to have you here. Very colourful pair, you two. Actually, yeah. almost colour coordinated. A bit of red in the old yeah. suit jacket there. Uh, and a bit of orange. I know. Shame you missed your jacket. I know. I love that jacket as well. I actually... I'll be honest with you. It is warm in here, but... I thought it was in my car and I've just walked into, you know what it's like, this Chowton car park, it's long, isn't it? Big, big you old field. To, you forgot it and you yeah, tried to pretend that someone nicked it out of your car, <laughs> which basically hasn't washed, I forgot. It? No, I, I, I wore it in my living room last night, took it off, it's probably still on the sofa. <laughs> but it's at home, ready for, of course, another day, which we'll get well, on to about, later, actually. Well, what about today? Have you, did you back any winners? Uh, yeah, I did. Um, what did I? Oh, yeah, um, Benbridge. Oh, well done. Yeah, oh, but I mean, not the, not the in most, in not the biggest prize, but I mean, it's been a great day's race, hasn't it? Have you had a busy day in commentary, Richard? Yeah, it's been pretty okay, to be honest. We had Ruby up for a race. That was fun. I, awesome. Where were you based? So he was You in the up. next box. I know, because yeah. I saw That's Ruby right. in there, yeah. Yeah, he came up for a race because it's quite difficult sometimes to throw down to someone you can't see. Mm. Yeah. And we thought we'd try it just for the last race. We don't have time to run the analysis afterwards. And that was insane, that horse <laughs> going off miles in yeah, front. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, really good. I think before we talk about the race, I actually want to just touch on your commentary side of things. Go have on, you ever have you ever done commentary? No, literally. I mean, Is it no. something you'd ever want to? I can't remember my own name, let alone the name of 20 horses <laughs> in a handicap. So, no. Miss, Miss Alice Plunkett. Thanks, well done. There you go. No, MBE. I mean, the brain of this guy and the way he can tell a story as it unfolds is just... Incredible. Yeah. You're only it's talking about look, loads, of, loads of people who follow mm. racing can sit at home and in their head they're just saying it. It just I, seems, I find it just really bizarre that more people can't then just I, say it. It's out fascinating. Loud. No, it's it not, is. It's know. not. It's not. You. You. You're. You're. <clears throat> I like to be quite firm with people. What you're doing there is you're being very modest, and actually Thank you, you are. You are. <laughs> you're so very lovely, good. He? He's. So, he, but he is. So, he, that is unbelievable. An, because you didn't you think you got to remember all those colours, associate the thing when you've got the jig and stand and you've got six colours that are two different horses. That you must have a sort of photographic memory. And a thesaurus, because the way I see it, the way I see it, you come up with some big words oh, in commentary. Yeah. Thesaurus is And sometimes good. you lose me in commentary because you've used a word to describe a horse so and, and, and... It's a man who's just said thesaurus. Yeah, he's got... I used to call it a theosaurus, but I was corrected until I was about 21, but it's a thesaurus. <laughs> okay. Okay. How often do you say thesaurus? On, if you, well, often, it's, like, it's basically like a book which you can... It tells you descriptions for words. Yes. Isn't it? Right, yes. when you get told things. So I was told, nothing to do with racing this, but I was told by my mum when I was two that all fire engines had their name on the front. And for about ten years, I thought every fire engine I called was called Dennis. Dennis, yeah. <laughs> I thought I saw for about three years... I kept saying, <laughs> I've seen Dennis again. Yeah. So I thought he covered the entire country. Yeah, well, that's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah. So <laughs> It's like those trucks, isn't it? The uh, Eddie Stobart, they've all got their names on it. Those yeah, the old ones. ones used to have every derby. Right? Yeah. Um, tick them off. And people stand on bridges and actually <laughs> spot those Eddie Stobart. They actually, they, you get Eddie Stobart yeah. lovers. <laughs> it's a game with us. Long yeah. car journeys. Number yeah. of Eddie Stobart. No, no, but people... St no, this is the thing, though. Like, we do weird things, like all three of us, in different times, don't we? But people actually stand on bridges and take photos of Eddie Stobart, Loris. I know, but today we've had really good racing. No, we have. No, we have. But <laughs> no, we have. We're going to get on to the racing. We always okay. we always cover the... But I like to just... We like to just talk about, you know, the guests in... Eddie have you ever messed up on air? Oh, yeah. What's the worst mistake? I called the complete wrong winner. That's what I was going to ask. No! at Newmarket about two years in. It had all gone swimmingly to that point. I thought I was God's gift. You know? what, was it, was it um, foggy or...? No, no. But just, you um, do give yourself a hard time, <coughs> don't you? have seen him when he thinks... Yeah, thinks, you're a perfectionist. Think, oh, perfect, and you yeah, but you, you, you know do what you beat think yourself and you up. Hmm. You know when you fluff a line that's nearly there but not quite, or you think of something yeah. great after the line. But you, or, you might get this. You know. you, we all get this. You, you actually... Where you think in your head, say you've done a hit or you've done your commentary or whatever we do, in our head we think, oh, it could have been better. But when you actually watch it, it always looks better yeah, than you yeah, think it is yeah, because yeah, you, yeah. you always think you, you know you can you do better. You remember what you were thinking. So can you ta talk me through? I wanted this mistake. So it was a race at um, Newmarket, and strange enough, we were thinking of claiming a horse out of the race, which yeah. is why it all 
started. It was a nine runner race. I still remember it was one of Ben Hambridge we were going to claim. Right? Yeah. There were two in orange and white. It was very, very similar, yeah. admittedly. But one was a 50 to 1 chance, ridden by Ernie Johnson, I think. And the other one was a 7 to 2, you know, second favourite. Yeah. And, you know, I was watching something else and commentating, you know, whilst watching something completely irrelevant to the race. Not as far as claiming the horse was, but it was irrelevant to the commentary. And it was literally as they passed the line, I realised I was wrong. And strangely... Oh, <laughs> God, what did you, what did you felt, do? Well, did you sink in your chair? Oh, God, you just... Well, do you no. sit down or stand up? Stand up. I do, anyway. So you just crawl on your knees. You don't want to sit down. So, well, ridiculously, there was a judge... Um, so there's a, one of the very few commentary boxes where there was a phone between the commentary box and the judge, and Nick called a photo, Nick Haynes called a photo, even though it wasn't, it was about half a length, and I knew I'd... I well, confused him, but I knew he was double-checking. And I phoned him up and said, look, I'm wrong. When you've done the announcement for the result... It takes a real man to put their Can you up. just leave it quiet? It is yeah. And so he gave the announcement, and I came on afterwards and said, that might have confused you, I'm really sorry, but I got the two muddled up in orange what, and white. What station was, was it? Yeah, yeah. What were you on? Um... It was Newmarket July meeting, evening. Oh, OK. So you, oh, you were calling it, not, not over the TV, it was over the <coughs> channel. No, it was on, yeah. um, you know, Oh, channel God, yeah, that's like. even worse. Nick's no in running all... betting, though, thankfully. No, thankfully, but you got all the tickets and stuff. But, um, you know, so, yeah, How so... did you get into it, though? Because your background is not oh, racing, no, 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 is it? Numbers and punting, it was, you know, I loved numbers as a kid. Um, you know, betting, uh, betting was great because of the percentages and mm. you know, cricket averages, all those sorts of things were, were great. And you just learned that you could apply it to, you know, in these days you see stats coming out of your ears, but in those days you just didn't have it. Just didn't have that at home. You know, you, if you found a two and a half miler on good ground, it could earn you money for years. When you know? did you realise you were good, though, at commentating? I didn't. So I applied for the job without ever having done a commentary. Absolute yeah. God's honest truth. You got such a soothing voice. He's very Sorry. Attenborough like, like in terms of like, you know, he's got <laughs> Attenborough's got a lovely voice, hasn't he? You can listen to him. He's for also hours. about ninety. Yeah, no, I'm not Fine. saying. I'm not. Yeah, but Attenborough's voice has never aged. It's just a thing of beauty. I feel like you're the same. I'd listen to you. If you were doing podcasts at 90. But the other thing I think that's so brilliant about you is that you, well, you've got a brain oh, about 50, again, ti great. 50 times the size of me. But what you do is that you're, you've got numbers, and don't take this the wrong way, but you're a geek. Yeah. And you, right. No, you are. Yeah. But yeah. you tell <laughs> stories with I came numbers. to terms with that at a young age hour. <laughs> you tell I've... stories with numbers, and we've worked together for 25 years. And what is amazing with you is that where you have that pull opportunity way of having the pull quote of the numbers so the numbers become visual because you tell a story with them and that's where it, it it's so brilliant because you, you can you and me could look at a whole page of numbers and yeah that's really that's really but fine i, I honestly I, for years have not had me and paul put in the same sentence no <laughs> it's really no, you are. Ego, a massive amount of good this evening it's like the only guy who's ever come on to this show any person with a notepad yeah. a full full notepad there. <laughs> that's, it's brilliant it just reminds me of He's some of the horses names so that's the, that's the honest thing is that you forget them as soon as they've crossed the line. Yeah. So honestly, what people don't understand is they bump into you and say, oh, you know, what was third in race three? I can't, cannot remember. Because you're just in the moment. It's just yeah. learn, forget, learn, forget, learn, forget. You then you go and have you? a look. Yeah, I do. Like, obviously, I've watched every race today, but if you had to go through the races now and that's I have to why, remember which horse is one. If you could tell me the seven women you met last week, yeah. you probably couldn't, would you? I could tell you what they look like. Names, <laughs> names of you. <laughs> Alice, you're naughty. I never forget your name, Alice. I know that for a fact. Because I annoy you so much. No, it's just it's just you got a no to avoid. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And I never forget your name. Let's talk. Can okay. we? Today, um, It'd be good. Today's hey. action. Let's have a look for anybody who's tuning in now. The Paddy Power Gold Cup is obviously the feature race. Let's, Let's have a look. Who's there? So they've got Tudor taking the Paddy Power Gold Cup and it's Storm Control who's trying to lead it out from French Dynamo. Il Rodoto moves up to the outside, the blue cap in third, then Gar Law. Simply the Bex in there pitching to the inside as they turn the way towards home. French Dynamite now looms up on turns with Storm Control at two out. French Dynamo landed in the lead from Storm Control in second. Il Rodoto back in third, then Gar Law. Here's the final fence. French Dynamo made a small mistake. Gar Law now tries to get on turns. Back in third, Il Rodoto, then Midnight River. Garlo got level with French Dynamite on the run towards the line. French Dynamite is digging in. Garlo to the outside, trying to wear him down. Garlo's going to get up. Garlo has won the Paddy Power Gold Cup. Garlo has beaten French Dynamite, then Midnight River. Il Rodoto and Darren de Carjac. Clear from Massillon, simply the bet storm control. Galahad, Quest and Embragado.
Garlo, your winner. I think that was your £20 it was. ITV challenge. On the show. Congratulations. The second, for the second week in a row. Was wow. it? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you why. Great race. It's a great race. I thought um, Jamie Snowden's been particularly patient with those horses. And you and I were at Wing Canton a couple of years ago when he won <coughs> very, very impressively as a novice. He actually racked up about four or five wins as a novice. Um, and then he ran in Group One Company. Yeah. And he was behind Hitman, who yeah, I know yeah. you really rate, and All Mankind, and in a Grade One. He had suffered a minor injury, but they I, I just think they've done a brilliant job with him. And Nursing what him. was a shame today is that he didn't jump that well. He has historically been a very impressive jumper, um, but he's got so much class. Yeah, yeah he surprised me a bit, because the Rising Stars, it, at Wincanton that time, didn't look a great mule. There wasn't many horses, and if you'd gone through the run, Normally you can identify in the run who mm. you think's going to be involved. And I never really thought he was going to be. He was jostled, he made mm. mistakes, he got impeded when Cool Cody got pulled up. Mm. He just hadn't really got into any sort of rhythm. Whereas French Dynamite was in absolutely the right place and it all went right until the last. Well, I was about to say, that's the, was that the difference? In terms of overall, no, because Gar Law had Did, four or five incidents. But going but between the, the second last and, and yeah, the finish I, line. I yeah. think... It's, it, the one good thing about commentary boxes is they're very high and you can see lost momentum. Yeah. And he, he just left that back leg slightly behind and when he landed, the jockey was again. jolted and you're just getting tired and it's just that, that he picked up, but... But Garlaw missed the last two. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was yeah. extraordinary. And it was interesting listening to the grown-ups, Ruby, AP, Fitzy, they were saying they'd love to see this all step up in trip, but then he's more within himself and they think his jumping will be better yeah, yeah might be right but when the ground eases that'll happen as well i mean that's the thing is it is quite still very quite quick, quick. And yeah. so and the old course is so tight you know yeah. ruby talk about that mm. ap you know you need to be close to the pace. so the two and a half mile race you know they obviously the handicap that we have here at the next meeting the boys were saying you know yeah bring him back for that because it's a, a more stamina laden course that yeah, instead of stepping up in trip yeah run him there uh, anyway really it's Jamie Snowden great guy yeah. started with Nicky Henderson good fine training and mm. that's this is a massive day for him absolutely yeah. massive day for him he had yeah. all his family in there all the kids it was brilliant and Let the owners are great people in memory of their mate who died yeah. and uh, they've all come together and uh, one of them of course is a director here and he's put so much into the into the sport so yeah it was brilliant I was in the co I was in the I was in the coral box today, but alongside us, like literally, I've never seen a whole box celebrate when Garlaw won. Like everyone was on it, mm. so you might have seen that because that was where you were commenting. It would have been on your right. Okay. I don't know if you saw it. Like it was a, some atmosphere. Really. What price was it in the end? Sevens, eight. Uh, five, well, fives actually. Oh, wasn't Sevens when Alice tipped in. Sevens when you tipped. Yeah, that's when the, that's when the money <laughs> came on it. <laughs> I'll cool. tell you what, though, it's good for everybody tuning in. If you want some, obviously. Alice is banging them in, Richard will bang them in. We had, obviously, Luke and Barry on the show. There's uh, Il Rodotto, is yeah. who Barry Don't likes, right. and Luke liked the uh, David Pipe runner. Umbragado. Umbragado, mm. who actually, they were actually both swinging, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, 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 right, yeah, right. Turns into a right stamina test out here. Well, that's Cheltenham Hill for you. But mm. let's look ahead at the, uh, the Arkle as well. The Arkle trial was another race we had, so let's see how, uh, who won. They have two to take, and Banbridge has now come through to pick it up. It's Banbridge who goes to home under JJ Slevin, followed into the home straight by Glory and Fortune. Tommy Zoska back in third, then Soul Pretender, two out. Banbridge landed with the lead, a bad mistake, and Glory and Fortune has gone at two out. Banbridge is clear from Tommy Zoska at the last. Banbridge over in front, five lengths to Tommy Zoska in second. Soul Pretender back in third, then Pentland Hills on the run towards the line. It's Banbridge who won the Martin Pike race at the festival early run in the year. He's going to make it two out of two over fences as he wins the Arkle trial. Banbridge home in front. Banbridge has beaten Tommy Zoska. It's Soul Pretender in third. Finishing clear from Pentland Hills and Fusain. Success for Joseph O'Brien. That was, uh, I think that was on paper, a really weird race to actually kind of try and decide who you fancied in that race. But I mean, Banbridge actually put him to pieces. Well, uh, all of them, bar one, were 140 plus races. Yeah. Hurdles. We had two in there that had run in the champion hurdle. You know, that, that was a really very, very, very competitive, good, yeah. Novice chase with, you know, good few runners. You could make a case for a load of them, couldn't you? Um, this horse, obviously, a Cheltenham Festival winner, having won the Martin Pipe. He looked very good. Ruby had flagged up his jumping on his debut in Ireland. But, I mean, Joseph O'Brien, he's unreal, isn't he? He's over 500 flat winners, over 200 jumps winners, two Melbourne Cups. This horse in the paddock, I mean, if ever you were look, if ever you thought, hmm, I'm going to take that to the races tomorrow, how does he look? You look at him and go, we've got that one right. Yeah. I mean, he looked 
unbelievable. I almost had to look if he was a colt. He looked so good. Yeah. So that doesn't, you know, it's different backgrounds. So you have a horsey background, and numbers back. Couldn't tell what they look, you know, as in. Yeah. But you can tell when they're not that fit, when they're mm. not right in their coat. The thing for me was. You knew what number it was. Attacked, yeah. his, attacked his fences. He, he yeah. was like. It was like Luke going to the bar when there's an ITV tag. I mean, he really just, you know, he just went. Yeah, it was. That's, it was, a, that's it was, a good um, know, analogy. He charged on it. But the thing was, when he was short or long, he came up for him. Mm. And that might mean fast ground is better for but, him. But, yeah. you know, trip, he won over further from the Martin Pike. Where do they go now? He's shown yeah. plenty of speed there. School was, was actually cantering him behind, wasn't he? Like, mm. getting a yeah. right good toe into the rain. And then Banbridge as well, I'll go. And see you later. I think we'll see, see Tommy's Oscar to better effect when the when the ground's a little bit slower. Whether they step him up in trip, I don't know. He looked very good at Carlisle. Obviously, that was a different yeah. test today. They wanted to run him at Carlisle on Monday, and it was abandoned. So they came here slightly with their arm twisted. I don't think they wanted to pitch him in so deep today. But, but he, I mean, it, he, I thought he didn't disgrace himself, did no, he? He ran perfectly well. He's not yeah. an easy horse to place because he progressed. Right the way through last year, and when mm. they really tried him, he came up short, mm. and that doesn't make him easy to place. He can win small novice chases under mm. his penalties. He'll then struggle slightly, I think. Mm. I think he would just be one that falls, you know, maybe a handicap late on in the season. Yeah. Good mm. handicap, I'm not talking something mm. bad, but mm. don't know whether he'll quite cut it. Clever, right though, level. aren't they? they? They're an amazing team. Oh. Lot. They've got, like, less than 10 horses. They tra train them to, like, a 35% strike rate. Yeah. Uh, just a wily, wily team, yeah. and uh, they do so Fair well with the, with the small yeah. lot. Most impressive performance, though? Banbridge. Yeah, it would be for I me. I think so. I don't think there's any others you can really... You know, some were good, but Banbridge, I thought, was... Banbridge, but I did love that Tony Martin horse in the, la uh, just in the last race we showed on ITV because it was... A, uh, you know, I've been coming here for 25 years, and there's, whenever there's a Tony Martin gamble, you know, you want to take note. And that was a proper old-fashioned... Old everyone seemed to know he really campaigned it on the flat. It looked... He, honestly, in the paddock, you're like, what? And then it just comes out and well, made it look so easy. Yeah, look, you might have been on the best horse, but it's a pretty good ride because, you know, even though you're not on the best horse and something disappears off into the distance by 35 or 40 lengths, and you've got to decide who's going to go and chase. And, yeah. you know, it, so fair play to him. He unanswered, looks ahead of the handicapper and the, and the both codes. But I, he's... He's not a Banbridge. No, he's not a Banbridge, but, no, it was, no. but, it, but it's still quite cool when they pull one off like that. Yeah, to watch anyway. Good mm -hmm. to take note on. Right, Rosie Tapner, she's been out and about. She's been to see what else there is to do around Cheltenham Racecourse. So let's see where Rosie was. As you can see behind me, the beautiful track here at Cheltenham, but it's not all about the racing. There is so much more to do off the track as well. And I want to show you just a few of the places you can go. Well, I've only had to walk a few metres from the race course to come to the first place, which is the Gloucester Brewery. And I've bumped into a whole group of people who are here. How much do you love... <laughs> loving it here. How much do you love the Gloucester Brewery? Absolutely fantastic. I love it here. Great position, quite high up. You know, the sun's up. It's going to be a fantastic day. Well, also, you can see the race course from here. You've got the finish line just there. Exactly. Prime spot. We're really happy, raring to go. It's going to be a great day. You might be wondering where I am, but I am in fact still here at Cheltenham and I've made my way down to the shopping village where you really can buy anything. I mean, from this beautiful wooden bench to clothes, to shoes, to hats, to scarves, to jewelry, there is something for everyone. You may as well bring a suitcase. In fact, you can probably buy a suitcase here, fill it up with all these wonderful things. I love the shopping village here at Cheltenham. I think it's great. I think it adds another um, thing to the race day and you get to watch racing and I love shopping. So it's a great experience to walk around and try stuff on. And realistically, how much are you buying at the end of the day? Too much, too much. <laughs> There's something for everyone, isn't there? Oh, 100%. And it's a great place to treat yourself and get, you know, more outfits for next time. <laughs> Well, a place that is always buzzing here at Cheltenham is the Guinness Village. And as you can see behind me, it is packed as always. This is where the party is at. This really is just the best place. I've bumped into a wonderful group of people, family and friends. Will, great to have you here. How much do you love the Guinness Village? It is amazing, honestly. The, just the atmosphere here is just great, honestly. Everyone is here, is having a great time. Honestly, the amount of people from Birmingham I bumped into this week, yeah. Yeah. untold. <laughs> For a second, like, honestly, you, I thought I was in Birmingham at one stage. 
I love the shopping video. I took my mum there yesterday. That's the beauty Did of Chowton. You, you got her? every. No. She, she got a lot it. anyway, isn't she? She's got, you know, my mum. She's yeah, got a lot. She, it's, and, and then it all clogs up the house, and we don't want that. We don't need a mess, do we? It's amazing, isn't it? That's exactly role reversal from 20 years ago. No, we didn't. Christmas <laughs> presents, mum says he's got a lot. Yeah, <laughs> it's role reversal. Yeah. You don't really no, clog it up that bedroom. I didn't treat her. But, there's, but that, that is the beauty of, you know, coming to Chowton. There's, there's something for everybody. The shopping is, and it's, it's it is exceptional. really good, yeah. particularly this meeting, when you want to just kickstart your Christmas shopping. Christmas? Christmas? Have you done yours yet? No, I'm very good. My wife buys everything. Yeah. And my sister buys for my wife. So what do you works do? Really what, well. So you do nothing. So you do nothing. Yeah. That's right. What nothing? Well, go on, you see, it works well. Wow. So what? You Richard. do nothing. Buy the money. You buy. You buy nothing. Yeah, what do you, you do? Think you buy nothing for your wife at Christmas. No, no, there's no but point. You do her Christmas no, but shopping. no, but do you get? In it? Do you got? You just no, she th deals with <laughs> the kids and everything. <laughs> what are you? You look absolutely horrified. Oh, hang on, I'm confused here. Yeah. For the kids. I'm not confused. I am telling you, that is not OK. No, it is, it is if they have a mutual agreement. No, yeah. no, 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 but, no but my point is, no. is the way he sits there with Al. his chest no. back saying, ice no. is great. I it think she it. says it's OK, but it's not. No, Al, if you've bought some of the presents I would have bought for my wife, oh, I promise yeah. you it is OK. No. He'd have to keep the receipts. No, that's fair right. play. You've been through Dubai a few times, haven't you? Yeah. I got to yeah. the airport and realised I hadn't bought anything. Yes. And I bought, I mean, they were really nice. They were like these okay. flying carpet coasters. Yeah. With tassels. Uh, they were right. okay. Yeah. No, no, I get it. And, uh, Drafting your system. Yeah, I, no, I, I actually, no, I get it now. No, I understand no, I now. It, the level no. of disappointment. It's like no, when you no. start in the office, make the worst coffee going. Yeah, then you, at least you know, yeah, because you're never going to have to do it. He's got a point, you know. No, I know. My son's yeah. 15, and he basically, he's like you. He just loves a brand. He's really cool, and obviously oh, I'm mate. really square. <laughs> Cheers. So uh, one birthday, I, like, bought, I thought I'd smashed it. He started opening his presents. It's just this face of just the ultimate disappointment. I was like, right, so, right, we're going shopping together before Christmas. You can point out stuff. Yeah, or awesome. you send me your Amazon wish list, because I'm not dealing with this again, where I'm literally yeah. just a banger. No, OK. Yeah. I actually... You look really hurt. I wasn't saying well, that. Yeah. I, was just I actually nearly... Like it's now feel, like, now feel that my wife's felt all these years I don't care. Whereas <laughs> in actual fact, she knows full well that you yes. don't want me buying presents. No, and you don't. thought that through no. and you're doing it right. No, I get it. He's Maybe a numbers your sister man, could buy for me instead of Will. Sorry, it says Will buy for you? Yes, but right. maybe your okay. sister could take over. What are you trying to say yeah. about Will? Good. Are you trying to say Will doesn't buy satisfactory no, no, items? No, 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 yeah. no, 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 but that is what you say. It is what it sounded no, like. No, I'm very I, grateful. Yes. Will, you might be lucky. tuning in on yeah. the off chance. Absolutely. <laughs> you didn't sound very <laughs> grateful. Why not if you? Sorry, if you're, you know. I think I've come out. I tell you, we're coming out of this. Originally, I felt really bad, and now I feel I've got the best Christmas policy no, out. I yeah, <laughs> policy. He's got it in a written contract. <laughs> in case so, things start right. getting a bit complicated, at least he knows. So I'm not. So you won't find me stuff. down the village tomorrow. No. But you might find my sister and my missus. There we <laughs> are. <laughs> Job done. A fair play. Can we move on from this? Because I feel like I've really upset my old mate. Who, who's your old mate? Rich. You upset your husband as well. <laughs> Don't worry about your old mate. You just told him everything he buys you is crap. Oh, no, <laughs> that is basically no, what you said. No, You've asked no. Richard always his wife Jonathan. to buy your... Move on. This is really yeah, well, I think we should, because yeah. tomorrow... Please, this is terrible. Schler Chase. We're going to look ahead to the Schler... Schler, Schler, Schler. You, have to, you love that, don't you? <laughs> God, that was worse. That was almost the worst of your Schler, mistake. Schler. It, wherever Schler, it was, all those times ago. Here's the, uh, here's the betting for the Schler Chase. Uh, well, we've got a bit of an issue here. Newman Negro. Now is a is a big big odds on shot, and uh, he's probably about one to six, one to seven, um, because Edward Stone, Edward Stone is a, he likely to come out. He yeah. hasn't come out yet, has he? But no. how, how quick was the ground today? It dried quite a bit from the night before, even allowing for the rain. I bumped mm. into Kim Bailey. I had to walk round, and I bumped into Kim Bailey, who had a happy go lucky, still mm. entered at that stage. Mm. And he's right, it's, it's no one's fault, it's just the beginning of the season. It blew, I mean, everyone's had a lovely day in the sunshine here, but it's been a brisk wind. Yeah. Mm. It's going to dry the ground It's a down. shame, it would have been, that would have been a great matchup. Mm. Yeah, it would, that but, been a you good know, contest. the welfare of the horses, as we always yeah, talk course. about, is obviously paramount. Edward Stone, the Oracle winner, he's got a long season ahead of him, hasn't he? And, you know, if you jar them up at this stage, that's it. Can sizing Potsy get anywhere near? Yes, because Newbury Negro is the hold-up horse, and, you know, you won't make the running on him. Yeah, and so as a result, it could get a bit tactical. So, would you be taking one to six, one to seven about? No, probably not. Because in Potsy, you'll be able to dictate, and that just puts the pressure. You know, when does Harry decide to go to the front? You know, he probably won't go to the front until going to the last, and then yeah. that one jump, as we saw with French Dynamite, might yeah, you get can change the whole wrong. thing. Yeah, absolutely. You know. Can Nubinegra? Is he more versatile than being? No, no. Okay. I don't think so. I think he just is. 
he struggles to get up the hill. It's one of those, if you've right. reduced too much petrol early, this is the ideal race for him. And you know, if he'd been up against Edward Stone, I probably would have been tipping him because this is his big day. Dan's yeah. had this, you know, earmarked out for him, fast, grand, perfect. Yeah. But with a tactical race with four or five and you're one to six, one to seven, it's like, you know, winning distance might be interesting. Probably won't be as far as you yeah. think. It's a shame um, Paddle Your Own Canoe came down today because I heard that he was been working beautifully upside Nube Negra as well, oh, like really? seriously well. Mm. Oh, I think that's why, you know... He was well back today. Yeah, so maybe very that, well back, yeah. So that would have been... Have and obviously when they finish in a group, bit of a cluster as they did today, when there's sort of five within yeah, you think five or six lengths, you feel like, you always feel, I think, then, which was obviously... Yeah, well, he came down and brought Shearer brought down. Shearer well. down yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I didn't see Nichols after that. I shouldn't think Mr Nichols would be very happy. No, I'd, to be fair, I, you know, it was a... Because I thought Adrian had survived, actually. It was one of those, you saw him go to the buckle end, and yeah. then I couldn't find him, and then realised that the loose horse that was galloping amongst them was yeah. Shearer rather than Paddy or own canoe. Mm. Yeah. yeah, OK, well, it might not be too much value if uh, Edwardstone's brought out that race, but we got the Greatwood Hurdle as well. Pick the bones out of that one. I mean, at the minute, Jean Coco is your joint favourite with a thousand tears for the... Uh, well, Aidan Commons will be doing the steering. He's, he's been riding well at the moment. He's kind of having the, the odd ride and, and winning, which yeah, is a quite nice. Yeah, he had nice. a horrible time today. Yeah, he did that thing. Well, yeah, away on the start. Yeah. I mean, look, the reason that a thousand tears is in there is because of the trainer. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, he's only had one Mullins. run for him, hasn't he? Yeah, and you know, we'll remember what he did with the festival when he won the bonus off the back mm. of the ball, yeah. bringing the horse mm. here, the shunter, and like, you know, but you are backing him on the belief that he's going to improve significantly yeah. from the yard because if you look at his form, he doesn't look. He's only got twenty nine horses, Emmett, and I yeah. asked him like, you know, you, you're doing so well, and he goes, nope, that's all I want, that's it. He's happy. Some people, some trainers are like, and I get that. If you've got a not just a nice handful of, with with ability in it, I can yeah, understand yeah, yeah. that from a trainer's point of view. Just bonuses, maybe sell a couple. That's how you're yeah. making your money. It's not the numbers. You've just got but a good I mean, handful. A lot of people That's say quite... it's a numbers game, though. Yeah. Well, obviously. Yeah, but I think more well, you, they're bought to do jobs. Once they've done the jobs, you move them on. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think people. Barry, yes, I think he said I like to move. It was one of his fancies for the week, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I believe, if anyone can remember, yeah, he did. I've got some nodding in the background. When they when he won here before, they played the song as he came in. Yeah, I like, yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was good. I remember. Sing it. Who isn't that? I like to move it, move it. Wasn't Nige dancing to that when was it he? came? I think he was yeah. doing something. Possibly. Something he looked awful, but we went with it. <laughs> he was never, never been a dancer. Mine and Nige. Mine and Nige's age, it doesn't look good. Huh? No, is it not? You, can you dance? No, no, no. no. I need a bit more of the sponsor's product first. Oh, do you? Well, we got another interesting contest tomorrow. Last one we'll touch on. Um, well, give me your winner, actually, in that last race. I went for Jim Coco Harry Fries this morning. Right. Well, you're on fire. Harbour late. Oh. Yeah. Just okay. Of Alan's, he's had four runs, relatively unexposed. Yeah, quite like him. All he's right. about 16, so I just thought he's more, you know, Sonny Gino should mention as well from... Nichols Yard. Yeah, Nichols Yard. Won, like, won his last two. Yeah, and he went up 10. I thought that was too much, but yeah. he was doing a panel with Harry Derham the other night, and they were saying, you know, he was really well treated. He needed to go that much to get in. Okay. And because of the ground, it, those horses that have been running on this sort of ground, you know, they're yeah. better than the winter horses. Yeah. You might have had a target for this as a winter horse, and it's going to be a little bit on the quick side. Mm. Okay. You know, you might not run, so yeah. Okay, and. and I uh, mean, Harry, sorry, Cobden, Come on, no, you're right. Harry Cobden, 63% strike so rate ridden, at the moment. He's another winner today, isn't it? So I think that's 17 winners. We in were November. complimenting him yesterday, yeah. Very as good. many as he's ridden in any month. Yeah. Um, virtually in his entire career. And what yeah, we're, fair play. We're 12th, 13th in the month. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Good form, I call that. Yeah, Six. I mean, for a jump jockey, you're supposed to fall one in three rides, <laughs> and he's winning two in three rides. Yeah. I mean, it's just amazing. Yeah. I know the numbers aren't, don't know. I was going to say, one in three. One in three. Sorry. I was about to say, <laughs> one who are you playing? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. Well, 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 You've got a better chance of Richard Oil oh, getting you a Christmas present. <laughs> <laughs> about one in ten, I think, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's about, I thought it was one in eleven. Is it? Yeah, something like that. I thought it was one in eleven. We'll go with it so for the time I'm being. Right. You so might have fallen off. Yeah, I was going to say. You beat me to a that's right. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, we've got, we got the Supreme Trial as well tomorrow. Yeah, now, that's, a, that's an interesting contest. Uh, John Joe Neal, Springwell Bear, they really like him. I think he's yeah, a I lovely, like... lovely type. But I've heard this uh, Nicky Henderson running, Iberico Lord, is it meant to be, meant to be the second coming. an aeroplane? Mm. 
It's that a bit like that race that we had on. That okay. was an aeroplane. Was an aeroplane? That was an aeroplane. Do it again. Yeah, no, I can't, I can't do that again. The dodgy aero bit. Flight to Dubai doesn't go like that. Yeah, I'm flying to Dubai tonight. That's a bit of, uh, what's it called in the old plane? Turbulence. Yeah, that looked like I had a bit of turbulence. Yeah, it always happens about an hour it's and a half. Bloody, it's that whiskey. There. Don't worry, hour and a half there, you'll bump a bit. Yeah. Hour and a half back. That'd be fine. It'd be fine, be asleep, mate. Yeah. Lie down. Actually, to be fair, Lie down in business. Like <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it probably is, yeah. That's you right. and I don't know. How you and I, no. no. Right, let's no. give him a winner, because for me, I'm actually, as much as obviously I love John Spring Joe. You're going to deserve Are you? I, yeah, I am. Only off what I hear through my ear. So, yeah, I'm on the uh, Nicky Anderson JP combination. I'm going to say loyal to Springwell Bay, but yeah. it's a bit like Hermes Allen's race on the first day, isn't it? They've yeah. all got good form figures. They haven't been off the bridle. Yeah. You know, Hermes Allen wasn't overly impressive at Stratford, and he was blindingly impressive yesterday, so... Yeah. Springwell Bay comes with a good rap off the back of being yep. bought out of very shrewd operation Max Mullins in, in yep. Ireland and yeah. All right, well lovely. Well, well Nicky it's... Wood wasn't here today because he's not been that well. Mm. Um, so he was watching on the telly. He said it would take a bus to stop me coming from Cheltenham and unfortunately he said I have been run over by the bus. Oh, oh okay. Literally. So no. um, he wasn't here today so I hope he's feeling better. And hopefully. We certainly won't see him tomorrow, I don't think. But, oh, uh, hopefully he can have a winner then just to yeah. make yourself feel a little bit better. Yeah, he might have a winner Mr Coffee early on. Yeah. Been a bit quiet today. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty good form generally though. Yes. I wouldn't get overly no, not really you know worried. Yeah, around not like worried, yeah. yeah. Early days, early early part of the season. Mm. We'll see. Well it's family family day tomorrow. I know, so amazing. Fun zone, kids come free. That's important to remember if you want to come tomorrow. And also just remember there's a new innovation here, which is this fantastic sensory room upstairs mm. on the fourth floor. Uh, it's been brought in, it's the first time a race course has had a, a room that's permanent like this. Yeah. Um, it was brought in by a guy called Toby who works here and of course he's got two non-verbal children with autism and it's um, to support families who perhaps come here and their kids get a bit overwhelmed or yeah. they want a quiet space and it's, I went in there with him yet, uh, today and it's absolutely brilliant. Good. Brilliant um, piece oh, brilliant. of work he's done. Yeah. So, yeah, if you're coming here with your family tomorrow, the kids are starting to kick off fourth floor. They've got a telly, DVDs, toys, really worth going up there. Keep them entertained. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and also remember, if you want to get your festival tickets, do it before the end of the weekend because you will get the best price for them. That's on the Chapman Racecourse website. So if you want your festival tickets, get them in early, get them this weekend. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you at the festival on After Hours, if not beforehand, obviously... Uh, we got the uh, what trials day. We've got New Year's Day. Just, yeah, and December. December. December as well. Yeah, yeah. Back here in December. It's all like it's Chowton a minute. Yeah. Should Christmas be every shopping. month, shouldn't it? Really, when you think about it, <laughs> that'd be great, yeah. wouldn't it? Nearly is. Just miss February day. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. Oh, and right. obviously the summer. But will it ever rain? I know. Will it ever rain? Really yeah. That was stunning today. Oh. I know. Too warm though. I want cold, wet, rain, yeah. mud. On Monday. Yeah. On Monday. Okay. Just That's to make, what we need. Just, to make, just to make you more miserable. <laughs> no, I don't get miserable. I no, love I'm joking. Like I know you do. You're like one of, You get your wellies on. She stomps through the ground. The proper horses, they need that. You know, they yeah. need that good ground. Otherwise, um, you know, we're going to have these yeah. small there fields. Was a, yeah, there was a day on Channel Four, wasn't there, towards the end when it was like biblical and all the guys were sat in the studio. Oh yeah. Yeah, and you came up with an immortal <laughs> line, which I probably can't complete. Well, no, it went out on national television that you were wet through to your. Oh yeah, pants. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Pants. I didn't see that. As you were buffeted think, sideways halfway up the hill, ago, waving outside the... Richard yeah. has sent me the clip there. Yeah. He's still got it, apparently. Listen, have fun in Dubai. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be yeah. good, yeah. More what, golf, bit of golf, is it? Bit of golf, yeah. yeah doing a job with, uh, with Hilton, yeah, golf. And then I'm, going to, I'm going to the Bahrain Trophy on Friday, so that'll okay. be good. I'm going to fly out for that. It was a group three. I don't know if it is still a group three. Literally, but all his life. Nice we'll horses go back going out there. We'll to kids and home and getting ready. Well, it'd be good. There's a... But not Christmas shopping. Very one today. But it'd be good. It's nice. Richard Fye takes for it. Oh, everyone does, don't they? It's, a good, it's quite it's nice. Right? So We're they, they focusing on. Uh, out there, it is hot. Went like. Oh, you won't. So just think of me, all right? Yeah. I'm going to top up this time. But thank you, Glenn Farklers. You've done a fantastic thank job once you. again. Thank Whiskey you, Rosie. It's tremendous. Rosie, yes. superb. Out there, I think. Absolutely. And thank you to you, glamorous yeah. folk. Oh, oh thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Not old. He's, no, if we're doing numbers, he's nice to obviously level out the average age, but you're not <laughs> old. You're not old, are you? <laughs> hey. Uh, there we go, look at that. I know, we're together 25 <laughs> yeah, years. Is, that make you? is it 25 years? Yes, yeah, it is. Something like that, yeah. Right. It is. Yeah. Well, it's partial yeah. mental. I think we should get to bed. Yeah. I'm barely here to drive Alice back. Let's put that whiskey down. Yeah, come on, get in there. No, that's one, one swallow. Put your notes thanks. away. Thank you, guys. Cheers, Thank everyone. you, everybody. Hope you enjoy the show. Take care.